Russian Federation, Alexander Asaulov. Representing Republic of Korea, Park Hong Kyu. The umpire is Angelo Eichmanns from Netherlands. The assistant umpire, Stan Clark from Great Britain. On table five, it's a class three match. Representing People's Republic of China, Zhao Ping. Representing Germany, Jan Gertler. The umpire is Southeast Atur from India. The assistant umpire, Leonor de Mario from Brazil. On table two, it's a class six match. Representing Great Britain, David Weatherall. Representing Germany, Thomas Kuziak. The umpire is Nagako Tamura from Japan. The assistant umpire, Jelena Karstedt from the United States of America. On table three, it's a class three match. Representing Germany, Thomas Schmidtberger. Representing Republic of Korea, Kim Jeong Seok. The umpire is Neil Curtis from Great Britain. The assistant umpire, David Cochran, also from Great Britain. On table one, it's a class three match. Representing People's Republic of China, Feng Panfeng. Representing Czech Republic, Jaroslav Hadrava. The umpire is Milana Kermelch from Slovenia. The assistant umpire, Igor Borodavchenko from Russian Federation. Ladies and gentlemen, on table seven, we have a class three match representing France, Florian Merian. Representing Israel, Liran Geva. The umpire is David Edwards from Great Britain. The assistant umpire, Ben Foote from Great Britain. London 2012 Paralympic Games. Good afternoon, gent ladies and gentlemen. My name is Farrell Anthony. I'm your in ear commentator for this men's class six qualifying match between David Wetherill from Great Britain and Thomas Kusak from Germany. Dave Wetherill is world ranked number five. Um, played in the Paralympic Games in Beijing. Thomas Kusak is 31 years of age and he was born in Hanover both players are right-handed both players are class six and if I just explain um, just a bit about the classification for class six class six players have severe impairments in both arms and legs and um, which can affect both or one side of the body um, they also have amputations and sometimes you'll actually see players who play with a racket in their mouth. But these two players, both right-handed um, topspin players um, on the forehand. Um, Thomas Kusak plays with pimples on his backhand. Um, long pimples on his backhand to actually help him return the ball and control the spin. Dave Wetherill is very spinny on both backhand and forehand. He'll try to um, spin the ball up and make sure that he plays attacking shots. And he he's very good at he's got very strong spins for a um, for a class six. He probably probably the most attacking player in class six. And um, they've just had the two-minute warm-up. 
they are just the referees just call them to arms. Who's that to serve? Who's that there? Just getting a net, um, acknowledging the fact that he got a net, uh, but it's one nil to the German. I say, Dave, there, uh, Dave Wellwell, there, just playing a forehand top spin, winning the point. And there you go, let's say that strong top spin from Dave Weddell. He plays so strong with his backhand and forehand, but that was a forehand shot there. And now he leads the German 2-1. Who's that there returning with the long pimples, made it difficult for De Dave Rob uh, Weatherill to actually get the ball on the table. And he's just missed that ball. Uh, Kuz that from Germany. They were all just getting lucky. The the point went away, and he did did really well. Dave Weatherall leads the game, three two. Kuzak to serve. Again, Dave just playing, pumps his fist. He's now four two in punt. He's gone to his towel after six points, as they're allowed to. And Dave Witherell just there, uh, playing forehand, strong forehand top spin. Um, backhand serve from Dave Witherell, big spin. And again, back on top spin from Dave Witherell there, spinning the ball up. And now he's taken a commanding lead, 6-2. Let's serve there from Kuzak, serving on his backhand side. Great serve, right into the corner. Dave Riddle just putting the ball off the end. And again, very strong team from Riddle. Kuzak played playing it long to Weatherall's forehand. And Weatherall's forehand is absolutely fantastic when he spins it. Brilliant ball. Let's serve there from Weatherall. He's now going to serve him with the forehand rubber. And there, he got tied up and he tried to just play the ball back to Kuzak's backhand, but he just lost his footing a bit. And this is the thing about uh, players with um, class six mobility, they do struggle to go from side to side, but their ability to get there is legendary. They, they seem to, they'll throw themselves about and get make sure they get to the balls. It's now 7-5 to Wetherill. He's gonna be receiving serve from Kuzak. And it's like nice back, back, backspin serve, popped up, and he's played it four and down the line. They were they're all struggling. And Kuzak's just served off the end there. So Weatherall's just got another. He's got he's got his two nil lead. He's got two two points uh, lead back. He now leads the game eight six. Kuzak just because he's got pimples on the back, it's easier to control the the flight of the ball, and he now leads eight seven. Oh. And Dave Brother, fantastic top spinning from Dave Brother there, played a four and down the down the uh, to Kuzak's backhand and then played it down the middle to win the point. He now leads 9-7. And again, Dave Weatherall playing a forehand. He's gone 
He's gone to, to Kuzat's backhand, which is probably his weaker shot. He's now 10-7 up. And he takes the first game, 11-7. He punches the air in delight. Ladies and gentlemen, he'll now go back eight. to his coach. It's a class six match. Representing Germany, Thomas Rao. Representing Croatia, Jekoslav Gregorovic. Your umpire is And he's Reynolds gone back to his Britain. coach now. The assistant umpire, um, Jackie Williams. Greg from Baker. Great Britain. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for he's all taken our a drink players of water. at the London 2012 Paralympic Games. Both players going back to their coaches. Whether or talking to Greg Baker, his coach. Greg Baker again, very expressive, explaining what he wants Weatherill to do in the next game. Giving him some words of wisdom and advice. Dave Weatherill is he's a very good player. He's, he's expected to win this match. He's the world number five. But Kuzak's a very strong player. Germany have got a very strong tradition of producing players all the time. And um, he'll feel he's still got a chance in this match and he's still in it. Meanwhile, Dave, Dave Weatherall will have to just buckle down. He'll feel that his coach will give him some words of advice. And we're now ready to start the second game. Great spin there, heavy spin to the backhand of Kuzak, and Kuzak not able to control the spin, not able to handle it. Dave Weatherall leads 1-0. An error from, from Dave Weatherall on there. Now one all, serves straight into the net. Kuzak with the point win there. And then he played a fast serve deep into Dave Weatherall's body. And Dave didn't know whether to uh, pick up the ball in the backhand or the forehand. Uh, and loses the point. Now lose, down behind 3-1. That's a great top spin from Dave Weatherall there. Into Kugak's forehand wide, making him sure he plays the ball. Reducing the deficit to 3-2. Again, played the ball long to Kuzak's backhand where they're all there. He's lost the point. He's now losing, losing the game 4-2. Went to towel down. Dave Riddle towers down religiously every six points. There, just Kuzak playing a long pass serve into Dave Riddle's backhand. And the ball just popped up. An easy point for the German. Great control from both players there. The ball hit the net a couple of times, but both players with great feeling on their hands. Kuzak punching the ball with those pimples, creating a winner. And that's a great ball from Dave Weatherall. They'll play the the top spin. Instead of going cross court, what he's done, he's gone down the line to Kuzat's backhand. And Kuzak just missing the ball, missing the serve, tried to play it into the corner and it just missed. So the German now leads Weatherall 5 6 5 in the second game. The German acknowledging his good look there, just clipped the top of his edge, top edge, top edge of his bat. He now leads 7-5. Weatherall's gone to towel down. And um, he now in now behind 8-5 five, eight, five now. Again, an easy mistake from Weatherall and 
German now leads 9-5 in the second game. Kuzak there, he seems to have motored along and he's now 10-5 up. He's got five match points against Witherall from Great Britain. And there we have it. At the first time of asking, he takes the game 11-5. This match is evenly poised. Coach calling, just calming his charge down now. Who's that taking a drink? His coach telling him what he wants to do, explaining how to do it. In the same token, David Weatherall is talking to coach Greg Baker about what he should do. He's got a towel in his hand, he's wiping himself down. Dave Brothers in a blue shirt, Kuzak's in a red shirt. Um, classic red versus blue. And um, it, they'll be ready for the third game, a crucial third game, I feel. I feel whoever gets the third game will be in a strong position to win the match. And um, it's all even at the moment. And, you know, we need... Um, Dave Brothers needs to sort of buckle down and and really concentrate on what he's doing. Um, Kuzak, in the meantime, he'll he'll believe that he's done the right thing, keeping the ball on the table and making Dave Weatherall work for those points. It's a great match to be involved with. Great confidence in Dave Weatherall's backhand there. Played two backhands. One down the line, one cross court. And again, a long ball. Dave Wetherill moving round. With the aid of his... his, his he plays with a, a walking stick in his left hand. And again, he's gone down the line with that fantastic backhand. He now leads 3-0. And the crowd are getting involved. They're starting to cheer. This partisan crowd, are mainly from, from Great Britain, although there are a lot of Germans in the crowd as well. And Kuzak, what a great punch. He played a forehand topspin, cross court, and then he punched it down the line with his pimples. It goes through really flat on the pimples. Very difficult for Dave Weatherall to pick it up. Dave Weatherall still leads 3-1. Dave Weatherall going down the line again, but on this occasion, he just missed the ball. Just missed the table. Kuzak's just put that ball off. And it's now three all. Brilliant ball from Dave Weatherall there. Served it short with a bit of top spin, and then came came in with a rocket forehand down the line. Great ball from Dave Weatherall there. He now leads 5-4. Kuzak's missed that fast serve into Dave Weatherall's backhand one or two times now. So now Dave Weatherall's got an advantage of two points. He leads 6-4. Backhand save from Dave Weatherall. He's played it on the line. Oh, and Dave Weatherall just played it into the net. He now leads 6-5. Dave Weatherall serving from the middle with the backhand. Nice short serve. Top spin, and it's just clipped the net. And now it's six all. Dave Weatherall will towel down. He does it religiously um, just to compose himself and collect his thoughts. It's six all in this crucial third game. 
very close third game. Both players playing well, um, but it's it, it, this game is anybody's. There you go, Kuga. Although his mobility is not best, he managed to get wide to his forehand and play the ball um, and smash it down the middle of the table with Dave Wetherill sprawling on the other side. And now he's gone from being 6-4 down to 8-6 up. And it wouldn't surprise me if Greg Baker, the coach, actually called the timeout. Dave Weatherall's just clipped the net with his serve, so it's 8-7. It is actually anybody's this game. Ah, and there you go. Dave Weatherall with a top spin. And he shouts to the crowd, and the crowd are going wild. It's 8 all. What a game to be involved in. It's one all and it's eight all in the third game, but it's Kuzak to serve. Oh, and a great serve from Kuzak there. Dave Witherell misreading the serve and he pops it off the end. He goes into the middle of the table to wipe his hands, take up a bit of time. And Kuzak's just missed that ball. Dave Witherell again playing very strong very aggressive very positive it's now nine all in the third game david weatherall to serve And there you can see Dave Weatherall, 10-9 down. Oh, and that's a great backhand from Dave from the, from the forehand side, and the crowd have gone bananas. What a great shot. Played it with top spin. Um, very confident on his backhand. It's now 10 all in the third game. Oh, and that was a fantastic shot from Kuzak. How he got that back, I don't know. With great reactions. He leads 11-10, and now at 10 all, it becomes alternate serves. So it's Weatherall to serve, 11-10 down. Goes to the net, just wipes his hands a bit. And he's going to serve a forehand serve. With, it's a great serve. Just long enough and just short enough so to cause a bit of indecision. Now it's 11 all, and the, the lot of Union flags flaming about. It's 11 all. No! And again, Kuzak playing that ball to Dave Witherell's backhand. He's popped it up. Kuzak's played the forehand down the same side. He now leads 12 11. It's 12 all, Kuzak missing, Dave Witherell punches the air and shouts, and the crowd have gone wild as well. They're really wanting this match, it's lived up to its billing really, it's a very strong match, and the, both players are playing well, both players have got support, and the crowd are showing their appreciation for great table tennis. Yes. And again, Dave Witherell being just a bit tentative on that backhand there. And instead of playing the ball, what he's done is just put it back there. The spin's taken, and it's gone off the end. But it's 13 12 to Kuzak. And Dave Witherell again, shaking his fist with his bat in his hand. It's now 13 all. And the more this game goes on, the more crucial it becomes.
Kuzak there just controlling the spin of Dave Weatherall just then. Dave Weatherall played a couple of forehands and then back on top spin, but Kuzak just very calmly just put the ball back on the table. Dave Weatherall making the other. But again, he's done it again. He's played serve. Nice serve into his forehand. He's played a forehand topspin rocket down the forehand side of Kuzak to win the point. Wipes his hand again. He's 14, 14 all in this third crucial game. Kuzak to serve. And now it's 15 14 to the German. Dave Weatherall just misreading that serve completely. He's now 15 14 down. Dave Weatherall going to his stop forehand serve. And again, he's won the point again. The same serve. And the Great British flags are running. They're, they're, they're jumping up and down. They're really into this game. It's 15 all in the third game. And again, Kuzak confident about that, four, that backhand serve and his backhand return. And now it's 16-15 to the German. Dave Witherell to serve. And again, Dave Witherell, this match is unbelievable. It's 16 all in the third game. Now, who's going to be brave here? Who's going to change it up? Who's going to make the difference? Kuzak, he's going to know, Dave Witherell knows he's going to serve into his backhand side. Yes, and there it is. He got ready, played it to his forehand, and now he's got Dave Witherell for the first time since June has actually got match point. Now, it wouldn't surprise me if Greg Baker, the coach, called the timeout. Dave Witherell goes to the net, picks up the ball. He's 17-16 up in this crucial third game. Forehand serve to come. Oh, and he's missed it. For the very first time, he's missed the forehand return off his serve. And it's now 17 all. 17 all in the third game. And again, David to have a wall of approval as he gets the point. It's 18 17 in the third game. Dave Witherell actually in front. 18 17. Dave Witherell goes to the net again, wipes his hand. I wonder if he'll change his serve. I wonder if he'll do something different. Oh, and he's missed it. He's, got, he's played the forehand down the line. And he's missed it. He's now 18 all in the third game. What a game. Unbelievable. 18 all in the third game. Nobody really wants to win this game. Oh, and Dave Weatherill, Kuzak punches the air with his left hand. It's 19-18 to Kuzak. Dave Weatherill to serve. I wonder if he'll serve a forehand serve. I wouldn't change up. No, he's going to the forehand again. Oh, and he's played it down the line. What a fantastic shot from David Weatherall. That is unbelievable. It's 19 all in the third game. This game is never ending. And he roars with delight. Dave Weatherall goes to the net. He has a word with the referee. I don't know what he was talking about just then. Encouraging himself. It's Kuzak to serve 19 all. Oh, and Kuzak again punches the air with delight. You see, there are, there are a few Germans in the crowd as well. They want their man to win. And it's 2019 in the third game. And we're all done it again. That's ridiculous. It's 20 all in the third game of this crucial match between Kuzak from Germany and Weatherall. 
from Great Britain. Comes back to serve. Oh, and again, Kuzak's played his stock serve. He, he knows he can get that point. And Dave Wetherill's played it off the end. And it's 21 20 to the German. It just played a forehand topspin, a backhand topspin, a forehand topspin to win the point. Absolutely unbelievable match. Roars with delight, David Weather. It's 21 all in the third game. Oh, and Kuzak. Uh, uh, this game is just unbelievable. The, the German coach is on his feet. Moves round onto his forehand side and smash the ball into Weatherall's backhand. It's now 22-21 in the third game. And Weatherall punches the air in delight again. It's 20 to all. Will this game ever end? It's one all, 22 all in the third game. Dave Witherell wipes down his hands again near the net. Kuzak to serve. Oh, and Dave Witherell just falling on the floor there, going wide. Kuzak playing the ball. Dave Witherell just, um, just losing his footing there. 23-22. To Kuzak, it's actually Weatherall to serve. He's going to go with a forehand serve again. And he's doing it again! And it's, it's an unbelievable four or five shot rally. It's 23 all in the third game. The great British crowd are on their feet, there are flags waving. It's unbelievable, an unbelievable game. 23 all in the third game. Yo! Oh, and he's done it again every time. Serves to the backhand. Dave Witherell just doesn't doesn't get the pot ball on the table. Kuzak winning the point 24-23. And the longer this game goes on, the more crucial it becomes. And Kuzak's taken it. He's taken it 25-23 in the third game. And that's unbelievable. There are a lot of German flags waving. They've got their support. There's a lot of great British flags waving. They've got their support. It's a great game to be involved in. It's a fantastic game to watch. Both players not giving any quarter. Dave Witherell won the first game 11-7, Kuzak took the second 11-5 and the third 25-23. So both, both players are um, taking a time out and um, a break between matches and talking to their coaches for a bit of advice. It's going to be a great fourth game. Hopefully Dave Weatherall can get back into this game, but Kuzak will be hoping he can finish it off. So at the start of this fourth game, it's going to be David Witherell to serve. Again, Dave Witherell just putting that ball into the net. Kuzak advantage, 1-0 Kuzak. 
in the fourth game. Uh, and Dave Witherell just missed that forehand again. It's too love. Witherell and Kuzak's taken an early 2 0 lead. Great back on from Dave Weatherall there. He's still in this mind. A roar of approval there. He now trails 2 1. Kuzak with one serve left to come. And Dave Weatherall there just acknowledging his great fortune. He clipped the net, but did apologise by putting his hand up and just apologising to Kuzak to all. And he's just missed, he's just a bit slow then, just to get on top of the ball. Ball came up but he didn't move round quick enough. And it's now 3-2 to Kuzak. And now it's 4-2 to Kuzak. They've weathered all towels down. quite crucial that he keeps himself together now. But Kuzak is absolutely on fire. And there you go, a roar of approval. with Dave Weatherill still in this game. What a fantastic forehand down the line. Oh, that's an amazing shot! That's a ridiculous shot! Dave Witherell falling to his right hand side. Played a ridiculous forehand topspin. He came wide. He's just fallen off the floor and he's cleared the edge. What a fantastic shot! That's got to be the shot of the championship. 4 0 Weatherill. And again, he's picked off the point. 5-4 to Weatherall now, taking a one-point advantage. Oh, and he's just missed it, just took it just that bit late. And it's 5-all. It's 2-1 to Kuzak, it's 5-all in the fourth. Weatherill's still fighting, but Kuzak wants to win this game as well to finish it off. Again, Kuzak playing that ball about to get down, on table down six. Weatherall's it's back on and now six takes match. a 6 5 Representing lead. Ukraine, Yulia Klimenko. Representing Australia, Rebecca McDonald. Dave Witherell now, 7 5 down. Russell Sutcliffe from Great I don't Britain. He's called Assistant umpire. Coach has Michael called the timeout. From Great Britain. Dave Witherell struggling on a bit. On table five, it's a class three match. But it's good that they've called the timeout now. Representing France, Jean-Philippe Robin. Representing Hong Kong, China, Ko Hang Yi. The umpire is Boris Rakko from Slovakia. The assistant umpire, Victor Hugo Ticacala from Argentina. On table three, it's a class three match. Representing Serbia. Zlatko Kessler, representing Brazil, well done now. The umpire is Robert Williamson from Great Britain. The assistant umpire, Linda Reed, also from Great Britain. On table one, it's a class so three match. comes back to the table. Representing Kuzak Germany. comes back to the table. Thomas Bruchel. Kuzak with a two-point advantage. It's a very close representing game. Representing Austria. still be anybody's. Dave Woodrow to serve. Two crucial serves. The umpire is Lee Sun Ju from Republic of Korea. The assistant umpire Peter May just punched from Great Britain. The ball back down Dave, Dave On table four, it's the class six match. And it top, hit the Ukraine. top edge. So Antonina now the German Kocinska. has a three point advantage. Representing Poland, Katarzyna Marsal. The umpire is Zhang Ying Kyu from People's Republic of China. And the assistant umpire Neil Montfort from Australia. Again, Dave Witherell trying to take his back. On table seven, it's a class three match. Representing Spain, Thomas Pinas. 
to Kuzak representing here. Sweden. Alexander Oberon. And the umpire again, is Karen Tong from Great Britain. On the and the assistant umpire, there. Bernhard Carroll very from fast, Germany. And now match point Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for points. all our players at the London 2012 Paralympic Games. Dave Wetherill still fighting. It's 10 6. Four match points, say. Four match points to go for Kuzak. And again, Dave Wetherill. Ten seven Kuzak. Only oh, just clipped the edge, and Dave Wetherill has lost that game eleven seven in the fourth game to lose just to lose the match eleven seven. So Dave Wetherill and the, the German supporters are on their feet clapping. Kuzak goes towards the coach and shakes the coach's hand. He's going to now shake the Great Britain coach's hand and, um, and then shakes his coach's hand. He'll be very pleased with that 3-1 win. Kuzak, Dave Witherell will be disappointed. Witherell loses the match 11-7, 5-11, 23-25. Seven eleven, And so the winner of that match, Thomas Kuzak, who um, will have a very strong chance of progressing to the next round. My name's Farrell Anthony, I've been your in-air commentator.